So then guys, I've been using iPadOS 26 for the last 48 hours on the likes of my iPad here with an A16 inside of it, and also the iPad Pro with an M4 inside of it. And I want to work out, you know, is it possible to switch from macOS to iPadOS 26 and actually do sort of your daily kind of routines now, especially we have these new features built in like multitasking, we've got the new kind of um, search find a preview kind of tool. We've also got the files app now being updated. Is it possible now to actually use an iPad as your primary daily driver? Well, I've actually had quite a good experience with it over the last 48 hours. So over the last 48 hours, I've been using the likes of say my iPad and A16 and the M4 iPad Pro to actually do multitasking. I've been doing my emails. I've been writing up scripts for videos. And I've also done a little bit of editing on the them too and flicking around the apps and I'll be honest with you the new multitasking ability that Apple have brought out has been absolutely superb. I must admit it did take me you know a good half a day to get used to it the multitasking ability but it did feel quite natural you know quite quickly. The only one thing I would say is that every time I switch back to Mac OS it did feel a bit odd to switch back to that kind of system but to be honest I can understand why that Apple haven't made say the multitasking ability exactly the same as the actual MacBook one and it's, they've done a superb job here with the multitasking ability. I would say that it's easy to actually get on with your daily routine now especially with those windows now in sort of the iPads. This is so helpful to actually have it and that you can flick around apps. I'd probably say the only main sort of downside I've experienced and I'm hoping that this is just a bug in iPad OS uh, you know 26 in the first beta that's what we are at and when the time making this video is that when I go to export a file obviously I have to stay inside the app every time I flicked over to say a browser or to do something else check an email it stopped the exporting it actually crashed the exporting I think this is a bug personally and so hopefully this gets fixed because that's the idea like what I can do with a MacBook right now I can start an export of a video and then what I can do is I can actually jump over and do something else somewhere else now obviously one thing I'm going to say to you guys is that when I've been importing stuff I've been flicking around on apps and it hasn't actually frozen out there or crashed out any of my kind of, you know, kind of uh, editing kind of apps. So this is why I believe it is a bug because I believe it would do the same on importing as well, as well as exporting. So hopefully Apple, you get that fixed as soon as possible. But overall, you know, the actual kind of mouse icon, the triangle, this is really good. It's better than having a little splodge of a circle now. And obviously using kind of, like I said, multitasking abilities, it's been absolutely incredible. I can resize windows. I can still have everything full screen if I want to do that too. And like I said, it does take a little getting used to. It took me, like I said, half a day, but it has been brilliant, the experience with this. Something else what's actually been really good to actually help along to actually kind of migrate a little bit over to my iPad experience is that I use kind of Finder um, apps, you know, the Finder kind of app right now. This is where you can view your files and things like this. And the Files app now on the iPad has definitely been improved. And it does feel more like kind of like the Finder ability what you've got on Mac OS. This has been really, really helpful that I've been able to put stacks now into my dock and also that I can get files in kind of open in the files app and I can click and I can drag a file like say open into Word for example or drag them around into different apps and it does work for the majority of apps. I think some apps need updating because obviously they're not used to what iPad OS 26 can do that you can click and drag a file into it because obviously you've never needed the ability to do that in the past so obviously you normally just double click on a file and then obviously it opens up so yeah maybe you know they need to update their apps to do that and I'm sure that will come very soon into the future especially by the time this actually is released that's probably the only one little niggle that I've had there but I can tell that obviously some apps it works with like word like I said whereas other ones it doesn't work so this is why I think just apps need to be updated with that so that's going to be really really cool I absolutely love that feature too and there's something else that you guys might actually love, and that is the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this right here. This here is a MacBook Air with an M4 inside of it, and it's actually been specced up, and I'm giving this away. This actually has a 10-core CPU and 10-core GPU M4. It's not a bin-down version. It's also got 24 gigabytes of RAM inside of it, and it's also got 512 gigabytes of storage, not that standard 256. And like I said, I'm giving this away to one lucky 
subscriber and that is going to be at the end of June time this month. And the great thing is that you can still enter into this giveaway right now. All you have to do at this stage at the moment is just put down into the comments below of what technology gear you're hoping to get in 2025. Maybe it's going to be a new iPad. Maybe it's going to be a new MacBook. Maybe it's got nothing to do with Apple whatsoever. It could be Nintendo Switch 2 or something else. Well, let me know in the comments below because I would love to know on that. Now, the other part of this giveaway is going to be happening near the end of this month where I'll be making a video giving you even more details about it. There will be a form to fill in around that time and also I'll be letting you guys know when I'm going to do the live stream to give away this MacBook Air. So you won't want to miss out on that. So the best thing you can do right now is make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. And plus you want to be a subscriber too because I'm giving this away to subscribers. So make sure you do that right now. Now the last thing I want to say about this giveaway is sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me, telling me to WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram direct message, please do ignore these people, best you can see right here, please do report them. Now, the final piece of the jigsaw, what I think makes the iPad OS 26 absolutely incredible, is the ability with the preview app. I use the preview app so many times whenever I get an email with a PDF, a picture, things like this. And to have that ability now built into iPad OS is so amazing. The amount of times now when I just double click on an email, open it, say for example, a PDF, it doesn't start looking for something to open up, you know, a special kind of app to open that up anymore, it just opens up in preview. This is incredible and especially you get abilities of most of the preview abilities that you get on Mac OS. So, you know, this is kind of things that you can highlight things and do things like this. This is really, really great that I absolutely love. And I actually would say actually the preview app is actually better on the likes of an iPad than what you've got on macOS, especially if you're using like an Apple Pencil to mark things up. This is absolutely incredible now. And overall, my experience on both of these has been brilliant. Now, for me, what I'm going to say is, is that if you've been on macOS for years now, like I have, I've been using macOS since 2006. That's how long. We're talking almost 20 years I've been using it. And I would personally say that if you're still using macOS and got so used to it, it is going to be a little bit hard flicking over to iPadOS. But what I would say iPadOS does give you, if you love your iPhone and you love your iPad right now and you don't, and you have a MacBook and maybe say you're not using that often, then I would actually be saying that get used to iPadOS because iPadOS definitely is brilliant out there. And I would say for lots of people going off to university and college, you know, if they're asking for a MacBook and their parents can't afford that, Get yourself even this iPad here with the A16. You can get this now for under $300 sometimes on discount. And then if you get yourself something like this ESR kind of trackpad case thing that I've got right here, even this, you know, you can pick this up for less than say $80 for this. This is definitely cheaper than buying this. And yet the power inside of it is still amazing. You can do all your Word documents. You can do all of your recording down. Use Apple Pencil, it's brilliant. But if you do want a large display 13 inch like a MacBook or something like this, then that ability with the iPad Pro, or even the iPad Air is definitely worthwhile doing. And you've got that extra power in there if you're going to do video editing, photo editing, you know, all of those great things. And I think that Apple have done a superb job here on iPad OS 26. And it's definitely worth considering. And I do like the ability that it is more of a hybrid you know, adjustment over Mac OS. I am kind of actually glad now that we haven't actually brought Mac OS to the iPad because I don't think it would have worked that well, especially on a smaller display like this. So I think this is absolutely incredible and I'm absolutely in love with it. And I would highly recommend that obviously when, you know, kind of like the public betas come out and they're a bit more stable to actually test it out or wait until later on this year and test it out. And you will see what I mean, that this is definitely a great alternative to actually Mac OS. OS. I think the only other kind of downside I would actually say with iPad OS over Mac OS is that with Mac OS obviously you can still download things off the internet of you know different kind of apps, third party things and obviously plugins whereas you cannot do that on an iPad. That's probably the only one down the here. But if you're so used to the iPads like apps and things like this and you've never really crossed over to use third party bits and pieces then obviously I would be saying an iPad is still absolutely fine for you on that 
one. But what are your thoughts on this? What do you think of the iPad OS 26? Is it something you're going to test out or not? And also, you know, would you instead consider a MacBook and pay more of a premium on that? Well, let me know in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video too. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. As always, if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.